Okay, let's try this again. Hey. No, whose idea was this sheet? Three, should've stuck with UFC. Four, five. You gonna survive? Eight, nine. Look, he's whooping your ass, so don't get up next time. Okay. Okay, not too hard, okay? <laughs> uh -uh. No, no, no. Oh, do you get- Mike, Mike, please go. This is not the way. I don't want to fight anymore. I go to sleep. You want a rematch? No, Futeshi. What a knockout. Before I proceed into the breakdown, let me tell you that Jose Cepeda said it best. It, boxing is not a game and there's levels to this. There's levels to this. It also reminded me of Jose and Ivan. I mean, come on. That was the fight of the year. That was a total war. How Ivan went backwards, that reminded me a little bit of how Ingano went back. These two guys have a heart. Oh! Completely destroying that machine. Look, I'm not going to be sorry for what I said. I knew this was coming. I've seen a lot of fights in person. The one fight that I saw in person was the one that annihilated this whole crossover. Mayweather versus McGregor. I never used to like Floyd Mayweather. I've been to his house. I've done the all axis. Sure, he lives a great life. But I never really used to like the guy. He's a really nice human being, yes. But after he beat Conor McGregor, he gave my respect. I'm like, okay, I get it all right and you know what Conor McGregor got you know the first four or five rounds after that toast that's why I say on my channel cardio is king but then again you do need the IQ and the technique I don't want to have to say this but it also reminded me a little bit of the Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley that knockout shot looked a little sus it might upset you Joshua fans, but to be honest, after Joshua fight my boy Andy Reese, I wasn't really a fan anymore. I mean, come on. He, people say he's this great fighter. He's a knockout artist. And even the commentator said, look, this is how he finishes. That was a very famous phrase because Andy Reese came blazing. But to be honest, he walked in here. All right, a little sparring session, a little amateur here. Let me just teach him a little bit of what boxing really is about. Or, like I said, the Jake Paul fight, knock him out, 20 mil, you're set. Don't come back. Tyrone Woodley never came back. He ain't need to come back. I mean, Conor McGregor, set for life. You're done. Go away. Tyrone Woodley, all right, you're set. You're done. Go away. Let's face it. When Joshua came in and Ingano thought he could just square up Southpaw, I said, oh, damn, all right. He thinks he's the big guy here. Um, and it didn't even take that much. Straight fundamentals. One, two, that's it. One, two, okay? That's it. It's, it reminded me a little bit of the Canelo. Hey, let me lure you in. Bam, right? Bam. And the problem with Ingano is he drops his hands, okay? That's the problem. You got to be like Isaac Cruz. Freaking, you got to have blocks right here. You cannot let these hands down. You know, every time he was reaching, every time he was throwing, he was dropping that hand. I mean, oh, down here. He left such an open area. You know, and Joshua, this guy has experience. He's seen. I'm not going to say he's seen it all, but he's seen a lot. OK, he's done a lot of sparring sessions. He he trains for this. He does this for a living. And he was noticing this. These pockets that were wide open and said, OK, I got to I got to chill out because <laughs> Ingano, he could come with the Deontay Wilder haymaker. Well, bam. I mean, seriously, that could have been the reality. That's one of the things that I really didn't like about 
Wilder. No type of boxing skill, but people were just in it for the action. Those knockouts were absolutely brutal. That force. I agree. One trick pony. But that one trick pony didn't last. I mean, he lasted, but it all came to an end at some point. Joshua just lured, lured him in. And he actually ate that last shot fully extended because as soon as you land, this is where it loses a power at the end. And Anthony Joshua ate that because there was not a lot of power in it regardless. And that's where he came in and bam, loaded it up. And it was actually pretty cool seeing how he was getting into the pocket carefully. And then Ngano wasn't really doing much. And it's like, all right, let me load up. Step back. Bam. Oof, man. Look, in this fight, I can't really give him that much credit. I mean, he's going up against somebody that's lost. <laughs> His record is clean. I mean, come on. <laughs> so nobody can deny that freaking knockout, though. It was freaking crazy. 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 I can't really give him credit for that. He needs he needs a fight with like Wilder, Tyson Fury, Usyk again. Or Andy Reese for the third time. Come on. We need we need a good fight. We need a good competitive fight for this homie. Come on. And then and only then we can say Oh, he's got my respect again. That's what's up. All right, my boy. You worked yourself up again. Yeah, there's some improvements, but we have to see it with an actual competitor. All right, guys. That's it. One, two. Simple. Seriously, simple. He ain't doing no crazy combinations. Just simple. A little bit of footwork here. A little bit of in and out. Well, bam, we've already had two MMA guys not come back. Come on. This is going to be a third one. He's set. Like, he didn't, he doesn't need to fight anymore. Seriously, he doesn't. I doubt we'll see Tyson Fury and Ngano, too. I'm just saying. Those are facts. We got two MMA fighters that sign checks, done. Don't come back. Only time can tell. All right, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, comment. See you guys later. Peace.